tell you not to try this at home. I think you probably should try this at home and stop buying expensive shit. But at the same time, if you are going to try this at home, do it on your own terms. You didn't hear it from me, and I didn't tell you to do anything. So, fuck y'all. So we got a soup can. It's expired, and it's pea soup. So no one can complain about anything. I've got this thing, too, which I think is for... A uh, shower, maybe? Like a ring for the knob inside of a shower. A little piezo disc already uh, soldered together. And then a quarter inch jack. So basically, we're gonna put this jack through the bottom. And then we're gonna put this through the top. Hopefully still be able to use that. And then we'll put some screen and some filler on the inside to take some foam. Or uh, take some sound out, maybe get some foam or something. Or maybe a t-shirt. And then we should have a microphone. So right now, this is everything that I have. Just kind of winging it. But I found some foam. I cut it down to pretty close to the size of the can. So I'm going to get everything kind of rigged up here in a second. And see if I'll be able to use this. If I can't use this part, I'm probably going to have to start over with a new idea. So in case anybody wants to try to hold me responsible if they try this at home, always wear uh, goggles and gloves and whatever. But now we're going to drill. After making that statement, I'm going to do something totally incorrectly. So while holding the camera with one hand, I'm going to try to drill into this can with the other. And holy shit, it's working. Come on. There we go. After, that should be your end result. You've got, uh, that's a 3 8 bit that I used. I wrote that there for some reason. All right, so I ventured outside. I was able to find some wire. Let me take this off. Oop, there go my glasses. Ventured out, so, oh, I just ran them over in the chair too. Damn it. Product shout out. Um, iZoom on Amazon, $12 for two pairs of these. These are actual, like, reading glasses. Um, pretty much indestructible. Some random wire. I'm only gonna twist test until uh, I know that it's working properly before I put everything together, like, completely. But um, once I know it's functioning and the piezo is actually good, I'll solder it and tighten and glue everything up. But I just did some dab glue there. And it should hold, let's see if it's working. Perfect. So I've got my soup can. I cut the lid out. I put the jack in. I wired everything up by hand. Got my little amp here to test it. And listen to how good it sounds. It's like I'm on the radio.